Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today's topic is uh, SMS message modes. So here I am going to discuss about when you put a submit, when you send a submit SM to SMSC, what are the message mode it follows uh, when delivering the message to the mobile station. So and how ESM, what are the various types of message modes uh, in SMSC, and how ESM selects the message mode while submitting or delivering the message to SMSC. So I am going to discuss all this in details. <clears throat> so friends, uh, here is my channel. Here I have uploaded few more videos related to SMSC, SMPP, SMSC and SMS. So I uh, recommend you to check these videos before starting this video. Uh, these videos will help to understand the earlier uh, discussions. Uh, so friends let's start today's topic so as I discussed in my earlier earlier discussions that when you want to submit when you want to deliver a SMS to mobile station from an ESME you do a submit SM to SMSC so while submitting the SMSC so submit SM has its own parameter so there is one parameter called ESME class uh, that ESME class parameter basically selects what message mode to follow what it informs the SMSC which message mode to follow so uh, let's see here here I have uh, captured a sub uh, captured a message in uh, PKF where I can filter it with SMPP so here I have a submit SM <clears throat> so submit SM has a parameter called message mode which is ESME class so uh, whatever value you put based on that it selects the message mode so these message mode types I am going to uh, discuss in details today so let's see what is uh, what are the various types of message modes so uh, there are three types of message modes that SMSC has one is called stored and forward message another called is datagram message and transaction mode message uh, so uh, when you submit SM you can <clears throat> you can put the value here uh, these two bytes you can uh, these two bytes uh, defines the message mode so these two bytes you can define the message mode value so if you want to uh, want to select store or forward message forward method of message mode then you can put some value while submitting the sms uh, if you want to uh, use the datagram message mode uh, you can select different value so whatever value you will set in SM, uh, submit SM based on that SMSC will uh, do the store uh, SMSC will follow the message modes. So here uh, let's see what are uh, what is the store and forward message mode. So this message mode what basically SMSC does if SMSC sees that is a store and forward submit uh, submit SM it stores the message in database basically in database it stores the message and uh, <clears throat> based on the conditions it's uh, deliver the message so basically this submit SM and deliver SM uh, both can uh, both uh, uh, both kind of messages are supported in stored and forward message mode and this like query sm replace sm and cancel sm also supported in stored and forward message mode so uh, this message mode what it does is <clears throat> when you put a submit SM to SMSC it sends the submit SM response and uh, a, and it stores the SMS in uh, submit SM data in SMSC and after a while it sends the uh, based on the uh, delivery time or based on the process uh, based on the database queue it uh, uh, once the data is uh, SMS is fetched from the queue, it gets delivered to the MS. Once it receives the acknowledgement, if delivery report is set, it sends the deliver SM to the ESM. So this is a typical flow for store and forward message mode. Uh, 
so similarly deliver sm also work for same same thing now if there is some network issue while uh, submitting the sms to the mobile station if there is a delivery attempt issue uh, you get an egg message from the mobile station it keep the data in the database again it puts the data in the database again and after a while it retries the <coughs> Detrace the SMS again to the mobile station. So if the mobile, uh, if the uh, delivery is successful, it sends the deliver SM or it tries for the maximum possible attempts. And once it's complete the maximum possible attempts, it sends the failure message to the ESME. So this is a typical flow for store and forward uh, message mode. Now let's see what is datagram message mode. so here is a datagram message mode as the name suggests it's a kind of a uh, uh, udp kind of uh, stuff where you can uh, set the esme as datagram message mode where if you see this view where it uh, gets the like <clears throat> it is supported in data sm message only the submit sm doesn't support this uh, datagram message mode so when you do a when esme does a data sm uh, message then only this uh, method is supported datagram message mode so here uh, this basically used for uh, increasing the performance on smsc so if there is a uh, uh, it just uh, sends a data sm get a data sm response and it just forgets about this message is delivered to endpoint or not delivery report also not supported in this uh, message mode so uh, this is uh, so there are uh, like schedule delivery register delivery etc these are not supported in this uh, message mode so there there are some restrictions uh, so this is just for high message throughput this datagram message mode is basically used for high message throughput uh, where uh, it's like an udp message it just delivers and forgets about that message so if it gets delivered then okay if it is not getting delivered then also uh, esme will not come to know uh, what is the status of that message so it just uh, send a data sm and stores in the smsc and uh, it gets a response then smsc just try to deliver it to the mobile station so there is uh, no delivery report nothing is supported in this message mode so this is uh, datagram message mode another message mode is called transaction message mode the in this transaction message mode let's show you the, the, the diagram how it works so in transaction uh, message mode uh, it's a bind transmitter uh, as esme is kind of bind transmitter so what it does is it sends a data sm but smsc uh, completes the full flow smsc will attempt the Hmm. Before sending the response to the ESME, SMSC will attempt the delivery to the MS. So it's uh, it never stores the message in SMSC. It's just end to end. It works. The flow is end to end. Once it receives the data SM message, it tries to deliver the MS uh, deliver the message immediately to the mobile station. Once it receives the acknowledge, it sends back the data SM response to the ESME. So this is the flow of the uh, data SM message. This is the transaction mode message. So, so friends, these are all about these. Uh, three kinds of uh, message modes that uh, SMPP supports uh, and SMSC supports. So uh, while delivering the message, while delivering submit SM or data SM, uh, you can set any of these message modes based on your requirement and you can uh, tell the SMSC which modes to follow. So, uh, so this is, uh, this is the submit SM. Like if uh, if it is a uh, last transaction mode message, or uh, it's a, if it is a uh, so uh, these are GSM map messages. So once a submit SM is done, so 
it tries to deliver the message to the mobile station then that is over gsm map message so submit sm like it's a uh, it's a kind of uh, store and forward message what i am showing here you so it's a uh, store and forward message mode so here submit sm uh, it got the submit sm response then it uh, tries to deliver after some time it tries to deliver the message to the mobile station once the message is delivered it received a response then the delivery report is sent to the smpp so this is a full flow of a uh, uh, message where it is a stored and forward message mode so this is how it works friends i will be discussing these all these details in my next video how the submit sm works how this uh, gsm map messages are sent so this i will be discussing in my next video so uh, so friends here i am expecting uh, to uh, expecting you to view this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like share this video once if i will upload a new video you will get a notification if you are subscribed to my channel thanks for thanks friends thanks for watching